show, we're back! Today I'm getting married for 24 hours, except my better half doesn't know that yet. I'll be honest with you, a lot of people kinda on social media have pushed for us to get married, which is a bit aggressive, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay, as long as it feels right. And so today, we're getting to the bottom of that. And here's why I wanted to do it. Because if we can't live 24 hours in harmony as husband and wife, through sickness, through health, and we're gonna go through everything we possibly can today, then I don't think we're ready to get married. So here's the game plan. I can't skip any parts today. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna surprise the heck out of her. And I'm not even gonna tell you what it is. Let's just get in the car and let's go. Yeah, let's go. That looks good. Wait, why are you grabbing those flowers? Huh? Why are you grabbing mom's flowers? You wanna know the real reason? Yeah. I'm getting married for 24 hours. Don't do it. I gotta know. Don't go half in, half out. 24 hours, I'm getting married. I'm gonna give it a trial run. You ain't gonna learn nothing in 24 hours. What do you mean? <laughs> when you're done after 24 hours and when there ain't no <laughs> being done, it's a totally different feeling. <laughs> Don't you feel like I could like get a little, I mean, a little might, something, a little you something? Might, you might learn something, but I mean, it's more <laughs> like the honeymoon. You wanna know what? That's a great point, Dad. I didn't even think about that. We should go on a honeymoon today. I should I'm go on a honeymoon. tell you something, cause you ain't married, it ain't gonna be a honeymoon either, so. <laughs> Thank you for the advice. I'm still gonna go through with it. I'll let you know if I learn anything today. Hey, I'm leaving right now. You coming later? Yeah, dude, I'm coming later. All right, good. You better look good. Dude, I will, I promise. <laughs> Okay, so we're here right now at her apartment complex and I got everything I need, but I'm talking kind of soft because I do not want to be the guy who spoils the surprise. I'm so nervous. Hi, baby. Hi, baby, hi, baby. No reason why I'm knocking. Wait, can you come here? I'm not being weird. Why do you not say hi? Come say hi to me. K Cup, <laughs> will you marry me for 24 hours? With your own ring. <laughs> they didn't have to know it was my ring. Will you, will you do it? <gasps> Wait, can I, can I redo that? K Cup! <gasps> K Cup, will you marry me? No way. For 24 hours. Uh, maybe for forever after that. I do. You do? Wait, do I say I do? Yes. She do. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> You'll know with me and Cake Up, we actually do take this pretty serious. So she put it on her pointer finger because. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not jinxing it. <laughs> we're, not, not we're not jinxing that. But I know if we can make it through 24 hours together, we can make it through anything. Which means we have our first challenge afoot. Are you ready for it? No, that's not what I mean. <laughs> I'm getting our first challenge, one second. It turns out that a large part of living together and something I've always looked forward to when it came to, you know, aging and the fine things that come with marriage and a wife are... Hello Fresh! And I'm just thinking like as like my wife, like maybe I'm just saying, I have proven my point in this area. I am fantastic at cooking Hello Fresh and all. I just can't even imagine how much better but you're gonna husbands. be. Now I just, cook it. We are putting Noah to the test off. today and he is cooking <laughs> Hello Fresh. I can't complain though because Hello Fresh is so easy to cook and I feel like even I with my very beginner basic level cooking skills can get this perfect. Let's be real. I'm still cooking it. Ooh, number one we got meatballs with bagoli sauce. Ooh. And that's one you were making because if you watch my YouTube video, you know I made it already <laughs> and didn't share with Noah and was really sad that he didn't come over. So I'm gonna cook it for him because I know he wants it so much. <sighs> So while that food is cooking, and for those of you who don't know why we love partnering with HelloFresh, one of the biggest reasons is because I care about y'all's health. And HelloFresh helps you understand what's going into your body so that you can maintain your health goals and stay on track for whatever they are. Also, because we love how easy and quick it is as an alternative to going out, it literally takes 20 minutes, sometimes less. Because they have a variety of quick and easy recipes that you can do in 20 minutes with very minimal cleanup, very minimal prep, it's awesome. And third, and maybe this is just an us problem, but uh, it might be your problem too. Our eyes are sometimes bigger than our stomachs, and what that means is that we end up buying a lot more food than we consume. And what's really great about HelloFresh is everything is portioned perfectly, so there's very minimal waste, which means it's even better for the environment, and it's better for our wallet, so. Oh, that's our timer. It looks like our food is ready to go. I'll see you in a second. Not to brag, but I'm pretty excited. 
This what? looks good. Oh my gosh, this is like what it feels like to be married. Do this married like, people eat on their beds? Yeah, if you're married and you eat on your bed, put it in the comments because I feel like as a married couple, it's like our duty to eat wherever we want. We are the kings of our castle. On my bed. I mean our bed. So let's try this out real quick. Make sure that it's not just looks because when you're picking something like this, did you eat it without me? When you're picking something like this, it's not just the looks you're looking for. Marriage material food has quality underneath those looks. Bro, that might be the best meatball I've ever had in my life. I told you. This hits the spot, bro. It's so good. And Pippi wants some too? Pippi's no. down here, she's like asking for some. But don't you dare think that I came empty handed for y'all. Make sure that you go to HelloFresh.com and enter code COASKITCHEN16 to get 16 free meals plus three special gifts. So y'all go to HelloFresh.com if you want some incredible food that you can make right in the comfort of your own home. And we're gonna finish this food because we have a big day ahead of us as husband and wife, lots to do. All right, the second thing now that we've eaten is we gotta work together. So this is my plan. Why don't we get down to business and do some TikToks together, okay? I thought you were talking about the other TikToks. <laughs> no, not like that. So pretty much what we're gonna do is what we do in a normal day. Like we'll film some TikToks together, but we'll put a little bit of like a, a married spin on them. So we filmed our videos and it actually went really well. And if you guys wonder what that green blanket is, once you're married to Keiko. Stop it right now. No. <laughs> once you're married to Keiko, you find out that she actually has like a Teletubby blanket that she sleeps with every night. Don't forget, we sleep with our daughter now. Oh, our daughter. Our daughter. <laughs> I guess we do. I guess that's our thing. So we'll find that out later tonight when Pippi's spooning me. Fortunately for you, as your husband, it's my job to always continually like keep you on your feet, keep you wondering, keep you excited about life. So I actually have something planned for you for us to make this official. Are you ready to go? You threw me for a lot of surprises, what is it? <laughs> Let's just say you're gonna need a white dress and we gotta get to my house really soon. Oh no. All right, so we're back at the house and I gotta get ready for my wedding. So here we go. Boom! I know what the haters are gonna say. They're gonna say, you can't wear a hat to your own wedding. Let me just remind you that you just said your own wedding. This hat is happening today. My wedding. Let me be comfy. Good? Okay. 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 Noah. Yeah. Are you ready? Ready to go. What do you think of my outfit? The case. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> are you, is this a prank? No, this isn't a prank. This is my outfit. Noah. Bro. You were slapping it. <laughs> there's nothing prank. wrong, bro. There's nothing wrong with this. <laughs> I'm just trying to be comfortable. If I was the bride, I'd turn right around. <laughs> All right, I'll change my pants. Hold on. Okay, you look great after that. Bro, people are literally getting ready for our wedding right now. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Before we get to the ceremony of this wedding, I wanted to tell you guys really quick. Oh my gosh, look at me. <laughs> guys, I'm going on tour! <laughs> and I'm bringing the whole family with me. Everyone's coming for the meet and greet, but you guys should definitely come to this tour. We're only doing four stops. This is gonna be the first headline tour I've ever had. So stop what you're doing right now. Click that link and get your tickets. I wanna see you drive there. I wanna know where you're coming from. I wanna know who's coming with you. I want you to leave it in the comments so that I can find that comment and we can link. I've always said this is more than a channel, this is a family and I'm so excited to get to see you. I'd love the opportunity. So comment done and who's coming and where you're coming from and let's get back to the video. You're not crying. Cry. Start over. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jacob. Wow. Oh my gosh. Everyone's here for us today. This is so special. Colby, thank you so much for officiating. You're, you're crying. I know. It's just she looks so beautiful. So we'll keep it concise. We'll keep it quick. Colby, would you would you mind? Do we have any objections to this marriage? He's not a real minister. <laughs> I took a test on the internet. Oh yeah? Yeah. What's that right there? It's second Corinthians. I don't have an objection, but now that I have your attention, is anybody in here single? <laughs> <laughs> you came here today to affirm your love for one another and formally acknowledge that which you already knew in your own heart. That your lives are meant to be shared as one and you are stronger together than you are apart. That's enough. True. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Let's go! Let's go! Now kiss the bride. Wait, well, do I have to give her a ring? 
you Thank you, you, <laughs> you may now you. give her the ring. <laughs> All right. Boom. You may now kiss the bread. Am I gonna kiss her in front of you guys right now? This is weird. Come yes, on. but do it. Hey, turn the camera. Uh, so kiss the freaking bread. I'll kiss the bread. <laughs> she was smiling. Yeah. Hey, we yeah. Did. Must be nice. So now that we're officially married, how did you like your ceremony? My heart is just so touched right now. I, wait a minute. What? You said we're going to Target, but this is when people go on a honeymoon, bro. Target is our honeymoon, bro. For me. <laughs> you know, the way to my heart. <laughs> no, but you know what? You make a good point. A video of mine has never gotten 20,000 likes in less than a year. So if this video gets 20,000 likes, which I definitely think we could do. If like, you share the video and if, send it to all your friends and family. If you share this video enough times that it gets enough likes that this video goes to 20,000 likes, I will literally take cake up on a honeymoon. We will go all out. We will like pull out all the stops and we will go on an actual honeymoon. Please like this video. Back to what I was saying earlier. We're going to clear some stuff up here on the way to Target before uh, you know things get too serious with us. Issue number one. Which side of the bed do you sleep on? Okay, I sleep on the right side of the bed, oh, but good. question number two. Oh, she's getting involved, okay. Now that Pippi is yours, you know, mm -hmm. too, you have to be the one letting her out in the middle of the night, too. You let her out in the that's middle of the question, night? That's not a question, that's actually a statement. <laughs> yes, I do. I will. Okay, great, because she doesn't be in the middle of the night, but I was testing you. Oh. oh, okay, another question. Okay. When do you want to have babies? Unfortunately, you know, like... Unfortunately, Noah. After the 24 hours is done with our fake marriage, I will tell you. <laughs> what are we even doing here? At Target? Going grocery shopping for our future. Don't you feel like that's necessary? Like, that's appropriate? So let's go. All right, so if we're going to live together, then we're going to have to have the same scent in the house. I'm definitely a vanilla guy. What are you? This. Okay. Bro, smell this. I don't like that. No, literally paradise vanilla. It feels like my grandma's house. Are we really having this fight right now? Bro, we like volcano. We like volcano. Okay, we'll go get volcano candles. <sighs> Close one. Okay, so here's the thing. I just got married to get up for 24 hours. And everything feels normal and it should not. I think I gotta let the world know that me and Cup are now married, even if it embarrasses her. I'm unashamed. Ladies and gentlemen. No. Bro, let me no, just do really quick, <laughs> really quick. I just know it. Ladies and gentlemen. This girl right here stop, Noah, stop, stop. is stop. my wife. Please don't abandon stop, me, Noah. wife. Stop. Please. It's not how people act. No, I just want everyone to know. This is my wife. Hey guys, it's my wife. She's stop, my wife. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's mine. It's my stop wife right there. Stop right now. She's my girl. It's my girl right here. Stop She's right now. my uh, Okay, we have to go. She's my better we half. Have, we have an appointment. So now we're back to the car and it's important that every guy out there knows this is how you treat your wife right here. Okay. Yeah, so that's right. She's on the phone. She's on a very businessy call, important call. Boom, okay, we're back home. I actually changed into this nice fancy robe, look at this. You may remember this robe. It's from the Las Vegas vlog. And as you can tell from the camera, uh, the sun's actually going down right now. It's kind of the middle of sunset. And me and K-Cup are getting ready for bed. This is weird. <laughs> Why? What is this? All oh, the stuff. This is my stuffed animal. And this is no one's sweatshirt I sleep with. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna leave right here. <laughs> this is the famous last part of the night. Okay, this is the part where you go like this. Every night, this is what you go do before you go to bed. <laughs> No, don't tickle me, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. I like being Little Spoon. I'm like the. Um, that's what? <laughs> how are we gonna handle this? Do you this? snore? I do. Do I snore? Um. I know you don't. Well, how do you know? Because we have FaceTime sleepovers. Before we go any farther, tell them, Cup. This is a really fake sleepover. Some of you know this. Some of you may not know this. Me and Cup have never had a sleepover together. Only and FaceTime. Because we want to wait until we're married to have our first like actual sleepover. We're just kind of going through the nightly routine together. We're gonna snuggle for a little bit, and then I'm gonna head home, and I'm gonna come back early in the morning to cook breakfast with her. And I I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys and K Cup. I hope you have a great night's sleep.
Good morning. I love married life. I want to wake up every morning and, and do shots of whipped cream. You know, we've only got like a couple hours left. You can lock this in forever right now. <laughs> well, let me think about that over this whipped cream and coffee. So yeah, I actually came back over at like, I don't know, I probably I probably showed back up like a couple hours ago. So some of the unknown perks that I didn't know I was gonna get and some of the things like, some of my final thoughts is like, even right now, like what are you doing, K-Cup? I am baking a pancake. <laughs> I've seen this thing on TikTok where you put an Oreo in the middle of it and it becomes all like gooey. Yeah, so as you can see, this is actually the kind of the best. Do you promise that one day when we're married you'll make me breakfast like and coffee like this every day? I promise. Let me just remind you some of the things that are awesome. Number one, she's hilarious. Number two, she's her outfits, so cute. Number three, her in a wedding gown, so cute. Number four, she's kind of sassy. Number five, she's clumsy as heck because she just poured this stuff all over the Number six, she comes with Pippi. Number seven, she fits right in and she's really easy to work with, which is why we came up with all those cool TikToks, which I love. Number eight, she likes to do the groceries and she said she'd do my laundry forever. I'm just kidding, I won't make you do my laundry forever. Number nine, she cooks breakfast. And number 10, she's a great snack. Snuggler. Even though I didn't spend the night last night, I know she's a great snuggler because we had a good night snug sesh and a great morning snug sesh today. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you wonder what our finished product was, it's this right here, and I'm excited to eat it. Those are Oreos in there. We decided guys. to do the whole pan. We don't uh -huh. really know what we were doing. Uh -huh. oh, okay. <laughs> Pretty good, look at this, I can do it all day. Okay, stop. <laughs> this is what it feels like to be a chef. To be married. That too. <laughs>